So you're in the market for a one-person freestanding lightweight tent. Suitable for somebody up to say about six foot two? Well, let's take a look at the Lux Firefly SL. <laughs> Well, as you can see, it's a nice, tidy little package and suitable for by hikers as well as cycle tourers. It comes with the optional footprint, so you can use the outer shelter uh, on its own rather than the inner as well. So it's just fly only, but we don't necessarily need that for most general backpacking. And then that's what you're looking at as a complete package. I think it's pretty reasonable. It's about the 1.5, 1.6 kilo fully loaded. So let's put it up now and see exactly what it involves. Uh, I usually separate the packages off, but there's your pegs, there's the poles. And then obviously the rest can be compressed quite small to suit your packing requirements. Okay, so I've laid out the base of the shelter. Um, as you can see, obviously it's a fine day today, but if this was a windy day, then it would be perfectly normal to pit the two, peg it down to make sure the tent doesn't blow away while you're in the process of putting it together. Uh, just as a quick example, as I say, I'm six foot two, the usual story. And as you can see, it's not too bad. The walls are fairly sheer, so it actually makes uh, good sense. But we'll have a look inside the tent once it's erected. So the two poles are, as you can see, color coded. We have purple for the head end and gray for the foot end. Just slot these together as you would do normally, making sure, of course, that all the poles are slotted together fully before you attempt to put them in place. I've got the one pole fitted on one side, one pole fitted on the other side, and as you can see, they cross over. Now, if you were on a windy day, this might appear to be a bit fiddly, but the solution is to actually use this elastic cord that's been put there specifically for this to hold them in place like that while you then clip the rest of the frame together. And once you've got a couple of clips in, it soon takes shape and you can have the tent up in no time, as they say. And there you have a freestanding tent. Now at this point, I could pick the whole tent up, move it around to find a better place, because obviously you've only got one lying position. And if you get inside it now and find the ground is a little bit uncomfortable, you might just want to move it around a bit to find a flatter pitch. So that is the inner fitted. Now let's just pop the fly on. So you throw the fly over and inside the fly, there are four Velcro connection points, which you obviously put round the poles and that gives the shelter much more stability than just being a loose fly. And keep in mind that at this stage I can still pick the whole tent up and move it. So there's one there, two on the top and one on the other side. Now keep in mind at this point it is still a freestanding tent. I can still pick it up and move it. But the key things now are to lash the fly guys on top of the pegs uh, where we pegged down the inner. Two more pegs, one at the front, one at the back, and you're sorted. Let's just talk through a couple of the nice little features on this. You can see the rod here, which is the ventilation rod. Uh, there's a little bit of Velcro in there. We'll look at that in a second when we open the door. But that keeps the ventilation open during the night, which is a nice touch. There's also a couple of other additional guy points, one at the front here and one at the back, just to give it extra stability if the wind is obviously picking up. 
And finally, for extra stability, belt and braces, as they say, um, at either end, you've got another guy point, and I'd be tempted to put possibly two guys on each guy point out at angles just to give it absolutely rock solid stability. But I'd be happy to use this in some quite serious weather. It's got great ventilation all the way around the outside. You can see from the way that the material is cut, there's good ventilation. It's a half mesh inner and there's again good ventilation in there. So it's a, it makes for an ideal two season, three season tent. Anyway, let's have a look inside. So six for th two and in we go. <coughs> Well, as you can see, I'm not quite end to end, but I'm not far off. On a, a deep sleeping mat, I, I would definitely be touching one end or the other, but it wouldn't trouble me because the air gap's quite significant between the inner and the outer. We've got four gear pockets, which is useful for all the knickknacks, and a couple of tabs here to string a line up to dry your underwear during the night, or whatever. But as you can see, once you're in here with your sleeping mat and a few other little bits and bobs and bags of important things you take out of the pack, there's not an awful lot of room, so the vestibule helps quite significantly. Um, let's see what it's like with the door down. And there you go, a reasonable amount of space there for, as I say, a small rucksack and a few other bits and bobs. So. That's about it, really. I reckon it's quite a cool little number. A cool little number. So there you have it, the Lux Firefly SL. A reasonable lightweight. I'll put the weights on the screen now. Freestanding tent suitable for somebody up to my height, six foot two. If I wanted to move the tent now, if I'd got my gear sort of all packed in, I'd just Put the gear back in the bag or chuck it on the floor, six pegs, lift the tent up, move it. It's a super little option because obviously once you lie in that position there are no other places to escape or put your sleeping mat. So that's what uh, is the, the best part about a freestanding tent. But a nice little freestanding tent for the solo camper, cyclist, bushcrafter, whatever. <laughs> I'm <laughs> sorry.